Your designated channel of complaint is through your consultant. Your consultant is informed. Your consultant will act accordingly. Your involvement in this matter ends herewith. Thank you for bringing your concern to my attention. Oh, Andrew. I've spoken to Luke. Luke? Oh, yeah. He and I slept together last year. Well, I did kind of realise. He's HIV positive. I have to have a test. And I'm telling you that you need to have one too. Do you want to get some brekkie? I don't know. Go on. All right, I promise I won't dip my soldiers in my egg this time. Is something wrong between you and Nazarene? Worse. Worse than woman trouble. A motor, then. Conference. Breakfast. You know the difference between you and Elvis? You are definitely dead. As if he'll ever find out. Yeah. Rajesh! Can't pay, won't do. What a perfect example of the welfare state you are. I can't afford to lose my no claims, but I can't lay my hands on the cash either, Mr. DeVries. Please don't make me beg, Mr. DeVries. I think I'd rather like it if you were to beg. Student overdraft. Rent. Bills. Nazarene, my girlfriend, she's in the police. She'll kill me. Oh, please, come, come on. You're not even very good at begging, are you? You have two days' leave coming. We're short of a locum and a private wing. Your earnings will pay for the jag and calm my jangled nerves. I was hoping to use the... I'll be there bright and early tomorrow morning, Mr. DeVries. We're waiting for today's PT, are we not? The house wants to sent it off, Mr. Doherty. Thank you, sister. Your drip's through. I'll take it down for you. Ah! You all right, sister? I think so. One of the doctors must have forgotten the needle. Oh, that's right, got it to bleed. That hepatitis is still communicable. I'm sure it's nothing to fret about. I'll get someone to take your drip down. Come on. No, I'm, I'm going to be late back, I'm afraid. There's something wrong, isn't there? Alison, nothing's wrong. I'm just on a late ward round, OK? OK. OK. You still here, Andrew? Yeah, Dr Turner's been called to see a patient. Of the pain kind, I assume. Yes, Claire told me about that. I deplore Graham Turner's action. Off the record, it's a practice that has not gone unnoticed by management. Watch this space. This, um, tinnitus of mine. I didn't catch a word. Tumour. I'll be bound. <laughs> what am I going to tell Alison? Hmm? Uh, we can't have sex for six weeks and then you've got to have a blood test. Why are no particular reason? Well, maybe this is what was needed to bring it out into the open. We've got a problem. We have to support each other. Yes? Claire. You'll never leave your wife, and maybe it's about time I gave up all these shallow pathetic. No, Adrian, Claire. never argue with the referee. I see red card, take an early bar. Claire, I am not interested in trivia at a time like this. I was hoping I could have a lift. <laughs> oh, Adrian, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, delivery's out the back.
sorry, Andrew. Liz hasn't answered a bleep. Pulse rate 30 to 40. Blood pressure 110. He's gone back into complete heart block. There you go, Miss Gibson. If it happens again, just try clicking up the voltage. I don't think any of us will be happy doing that, Andrew. This isn't coronary care. While you're here, can you have a look at Mrs. Pandit? Her urine output's been under 30 for the past two hours. OK, quickly then. This is your on-call room. You've got your own television with satellite channels. If there's nothing on, you can always use the video. We've got loads of tapes. Have you seen Jurassic Park? I work in it. <laughs> Oh, we don't mind you using the phone for one or two personal calls, but keep it local. So, where do I pick up my bleep? Bleep? It's rare there's anything to do. We'll just come and knock you up. Oh, uh, do you prefer tea or coffee when you're called out? I don't know how bad the infection actually is. It's more of a medical uh, matter. And I haven't got the result back yet. Uh, Claire, I got tired actually, of all the doctor long. might know. If, you can just bear if our output doesn't pick up, can you have another shot, please? OK. Andrew, can you have a word with Mr Reynoldson, please? If you'd just like to take a seat in Sister's office, please, Mr Reynolds. It's like ward problems. See what happens when we don't help each other? Naturally, I'd like to extend my sympathy, Sister. This must be a worrying time. How are your family taking it? They're concerned, of course, Mr Tennant. It's not knowing whether I'm going to get the infection or not. Quite. What a business. Um... Yes, I'm afraid I've had to decline your request for sick leave. This is in line with hospital policy. However, you have been directed to observe safe practice until you receive a clean bill of health. And the uh, question of compensation? Well, it is deemed your responsibility to safeguard your health in the workplace. Read this. Why not try a claim against your colleague whose negligence caused this injury? The operative word is colleague, Mr. Tennant. Mr. Tant. Mr. Doherty, I was happy to accede to Sister Lander's request for you to be here. But may I remind you that you have no mandate to interfere in my day-to-day -day management of this hospital's affairs. I insist on all comments being made through the chairman of the consultant's committee. Grant Anna. Indeed. And please don't forget to raise the head of your bed at night. And lose some friggin' weight. Sorry, Claire. Looks like someone's going to get their comeuppance. Hmm? They're auditing which doctors actually attend clinic sessions. Gotcha. Yeah. Good morning. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. Traffic doesn't get any better, does it? Well, Claire, looks as if you'll be spared covering my clinic after all. Good morning, Graham. Good morning, Paul. Just thought I'd ensure the audit got underway smoothly. Mr Tennant, may I ask who knew about this audit in advance? Only my staff. And, of course, the Consultants Committee. Uh, which reminds me, Graham, the uh, committee luncheon will be at 12.30 today. Well, I'm sure the caterers will do as proud as usual, Paul. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I can't do my list if our anaesthetists are sick, can I? Let's see first if we can find someone who won't go whinging to the newspapers. Shall we? Dr Mortimer, I am annoyed, to say the least. Stuck on the crossword again, Mr Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> I've frequently been appalled by Graham Turner's refusal to accept consultant responsibility. The very person the audit was designed to catch out. Mm. Sarah, wouldn't you agree? If Graham remains chairman, it does us all a disservice. Mutiny, Ernest. Oh, yes. Halston, can we not talk about this at work? I don't speak to you otherwise. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way I've been recently. I'm, I'm sorry about last night. I'm... I want us to get help. What are you talking about? You're, you're saying marriage counselling? Yes. Oh, this is definitely something I can't talk about now. I'll uh, see you tonight. OK. Oh, God. Steak au poivre. French fries.